Hi Greedy 3 ds I don't know if you have the same problem that I have. I need to move my paints from the man cave in the garden and get them into the house constantly going backwards and forwards. So up until this point, I've been using the Army Painter Project paint station. And to be fair, it has been really, really good. I had to make a few modifications to it to get some bigger brushes in and things are piled up on top of each other. So what I did buy or what I looked at buying was one of these. These are the Frontier Gaming uh, carry case for want of a better term and uh, for Christmas my good lady has bought me one to the tune of 203 euros or about 175 pounds and today it came so let me just show you the unboxing of it and we'll have a quick talk about it and we'll talk about the pros and the cons and I will tell you what I think and whether it's worth that 203 euros now I haven't been given one we've had to buy this or my good lady bought this for me um, so it's not a gift and I will tell you I think it's value for all that money stay tuned so it was ordered on the 1st of December and it arrived on the 20th of December so 19 days um, good communication from the company and from the courier and uh, it arrived in one piece so let's get the thing unpacked Now the first thing that you can see is I did choose some uh, custom engraving on the top and they've done a fantastic job of the Greedy 3D logo. Um, just opening the box it's got this clear plastic in there which you're going to use to stick on the lid to keep it nice and safe and there is the LED light. There's a little bit more about that LED light which we'll talk to. It comes with six boxes as part of the order and you can order more boxes during the process but it does come with those six and you can tailor those six to be what you want them to be i had two storage boxes and four paint trays and one of the storage boxes comes with these little brackets to put the light on and all the extension leads for that light that i ordered as well didn't know if i was going to need those extension leads but i thought you know what let's let's get it now it's made of laser cut wood it smells like that burnt kind of wood smell it's really nice the trays move in and out really really well overall yep put together really well um does feel very flimsy i'm gonna not, not gonna lie the, the, the wooden the wooden bits on the inside they don't feel fantastically good quality i'm not saying they're not just look at that logo isn't that fantastic but i was expecting something a little bit better made on the inside i'm um, just popping the strap on now and uh, that's quite a nice strap clips on either side um the boxes for what I've said about them, they are well made and they clip together really, really well. And these uh, these brackets sit on the top. I wasn't too sure about these or how they're going to work. But you take your LED light and you thread it through. Now, they're a bit flimsy and they're a bit fiddly. But I, I suspect once you've got it on, it'll be all right. Now, the first thing I noticed, it doesn't come with a plug. So I plugged it into a power adapter and this is what happened. So I thought, OK, might be dodgy power adapter. So I changed the power adapter to another one and still doing it. I emailed the company. They said that it's probably a problem with my power adapter. So I tried another one and um, it did finally work. So out of the whole house, I've got one power adapter that makes it work, which, OK, I'll take that one on the chin. So here we go. I've packed it all up now with my paints in that first tray there. I've got 28 paints and two tubs of Vallejo mud. So not bad. 28 tins or, or little pots of army painter paint, I think is quite good. Um, the next one just above it, I've got army painter paints in there again. And I've got 30 of those in there and uh, one other little uh, tub of paint. But I did notice, because I was going to put my... I'm um, going to put my wet palette in there, but my wet palette is too thick, it will not fit. Now you can buy a wet palette yourself, but I thought the Army Painter one would fit, but a bit disappointed. Now I've rammed everything in it, and it does hold stuff really, really well, as you can see. There's plenty of my paints in there, and plenty of bits and pieces, so overall not bad storage. Okay, so let's start with some of the pros. Um, ordered on their website on the uh, 2nd of December and the, the process was relatively 
easy. Lots of options to choose from. You can order different kinds of trays. You can add additional trays. You can strip and swap them around. So absolutely fine. You can order all the extra bits. I ordered the light, the extension for the light. Uh, I also had the front engraved, as you've seen, and I am absolutely chuffed with the engraving absolutely chuffed with that really really nice if you want it your name on it if you want your business logo if you want your youtube channel logo on it really really good um delivery came within the 19 20 days which considering it's coming from i believe it's latvia is not bad at all and um, we've had some postal strokes in the uk strikes sorry in the uk as well uh, and given all that into account i don't think it's bad timing the the actual communication from the company was excellent the communication from the courier which was dhl was excellent um I sent them a picture of my logo. They sent a, a, an email back confirming it. They showed me what they were going to do. I agreed it. All good. Communication, brilliant. When I had a problem with the light, the email came back within 10 minutes. Absolutely can't fault it at all. Um, once it arrived, and it did arrive when it was going to arrive, it was well packaged, it was undamaged, and everything was in there that I wanted it to be in there that I had ordered. So again, Billy bonus there. Um, the quality of the outside layer of the case, fine, no problems at all. The boxes, I felt they were a little bit cheaper than I was hoping for £175, €200. Euros. I thought I might get a little bit more than that. It's quite expensive for what it is, I seemed, but the shoulder the strap was absolutely fine as well and the carrying handle seems firm and very is very comfortable in the hand the uh, little boxes fit in and out absolutely fine they slide in lovely they're not tight they don't grind they're absolutely fine it doesn't fit my army painter palette and it didn't fit my army painter battlefield baiting kit box which i wanted to put in there but it doesn't fit those so that's something to be aware of it's it's quite narrow and i will put the dimensions up on the screen here um paint wise uh for army painter paints for Leho paint citadel paints you can put shed loads in there and again i will put here what you can put in in each box and bear in mind that it comes with you, you can have up to six boxes and you could you can have more if you want um but when you've got the large army painter paints in it or the Leho paints i say the large the normal ones you can't stack them on top of each other you have to put one and then another one on there, and, and then you've got a gap at the top for your box. You can't get them, or there's four gaps in total, and you can't fill them all with that kind of paint because there's not enough room. Um, but in the same token, you can get an awful lot of paints in there, so that's good. Um, what else did I like about it? I thought the finish in the wood was lovely, as I've said, lots of storage. The mechanism works well. It clips short. Uh, when you open the lid, there's a like a stick-on piece of, of plastic uh, there which will protect the lid and that allows you to do all your painting and your work on the lid uh, without ruining the wood so when you finish you can close it job done love that great idea what didn't i like about it um i thought the light was fiddly the two little brackets are holding up and a little bit a little bit cheap and nasty looking i would say but they do hold the light um as long as you get in position i guess then it's fine and you're not moving it all the time i'm really disappointed with the fact that only one of my uh, connectors in the house will actually light the, the thing up you know without it flashing away but again i have got one that works um something to do with, you need a fast charger or something might have been my bag i might have missed that um the price i did not like now it was 175 pound 203 euros i thought that was expensive for what it was i've got to be honest lots of reviews on youtube are, are, are blowing bubbles out of the company's bottom and i'll get that because it's a lovely bit of kit really um but i do wonder if they have had those boxes gifted to them or whether they've bought them um for 175 pound i thought it was a little on the expensive side um my good lady bought it for me as a christmas gift so thank you there but um still an awful awful lot of money but will it do the job that i want it to do yeah it will um it will carry around my hundred or so paints in there and my bits and pieces and bits and bobs and i can open the lid and i can paint on the lid and i can do all the stuff i can do and i can carry it back into the shed when i finished and it's neat and it's all tidy and and i like it but um am i going to recommend that you buy one well what i'll say is this if you've got 175 quid to spend spare and that includes the light the engraving don't forget so if you didn't have those it would be a little bit cheaper if you've got 175 pound and you want one of these yeah buy one yeah buy one good it's good quality it's okay i like it i'm glad i've got one um so there will be a thumbs up there but 
I'm sure you can get cheaper options out there. I've seen people use makeup cases, which are not quite as glamorous as this. It's not engraved and it's not made of wood and all that. But you can store your paints in it if you really need a cheaper option. There are cheaper options out there. But like I say, if you want something a little bit flash, a little bit dazzling, if you want your logo on the front um, and you've got 175 quid to blow, yeah, get one. Um, company was good, good delivery, good communication. The product on the whole is good quality. It's just expensive. So, you know, take that on board. Will I recommend you buy one? Well, that's up to you guys, whether the money is too much for you or not. I'm glad I've got one. I'm giving it a thumbs up because I really, really like it. But, you know, it's expensive. Um, I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on the product, what you think of it, what you uh, what you agree with with me, what you don't agree with. Would you buy one? Have you bought one? What do you think about it? Leave some comments in the comments box. Um, like the video if you don't mind. That helps the algorithm for the old U of Tube. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like all things 3D printing and 3D painting. And uh, if you want to buy one of these boxes, I'll put a link in the description. I'm not getting any money selling it or putting the link in there. Nothing is coming back to me. Um, there are voucher codes online. You can get 10, 10 euros, 10 pounds off, which I've found just by searching it in the mighty Google. Uh, and I've got 10 quid knocked off. So you can do that. Hope you've enjoyed this review video of the uh, of the Frontier Wargaming uh, storage box. And uh, tune in next time for Greedy 3D. Thank you.